personally, I think what's going to happen is very clear. You're going to see a shift from I'm generating tokens, I'm generating more tokens, I'm generating more tokens year after year, to I'm building decentralized financial products. And those decentralized financial products begin to redefine how financial products should work. And, and DeFi is really the beginning of this trend towards using blockchain infrastructure, not just for tokens, but for digital contracts that do something other than ownership and transfer of ownership, right? Now, why am I so confident about this idea? Well, the, the reality is I've seen this happen, this shift in how our space is defined two times already. The third shift that we're starting to see now is from one where you can simply make scriptable smart contracts that are related to tokenization because that is the type of data that blockchains are very good for processing natively into an environment where data and events allow the creation of decentralized finance, smart contract insurance, decentralized trade finance, various fraud proof gaming. So all the other forms of digital agreement that exist out in the world can all have the trustless computational benefits and transparency of this infrastructure. The only thing that's really necessary is the capacity for blockchain infrastructure to be used around events data, to consume events data, to generate events data. Because the reality is that the majority of contracts out in the world are about event. They're not about ownership transfer. Now, what I'm here to do is partly from a selfish point of view, but partly from a point of view of redefining our industry, encourage you to build something that is not a token. Take this as a challenge to build something that is a decentralized financial product, a piece of insurance, some kind of digital agreement that is about an event that creates sufficient economic value and benefits from the trust minimizing capabilities of blockchain infrastructure, right?